In today's video, I'm going to share with you just how easy it is to upcycle some glass items. I have three here, two of which are vases. I just don't really know what to do with them. They're quite boring and I just haven't been using them. And then this is a wine bottle. I quite like the colour of the glass. So I'm thinking maybe painting half of it because I do like the interest of the top half. I'm going to do something different with each of them, but this one will be my demo on showing you how to prep and paint glass. I'm going to be using Valsper's Furniture Paint in White Hot and Downing Street. The reason why I've gone for black and white is because I'm not quite sure where I'm going to display these vases. So I thought if I painted them in black and white, but in an interesting design, they'll look good and then I'll have more options of where I can place them in my home. We want to make sure it's all ready for painting. So first step is cleaning with sugar soap solution. Just gonna use a sponge and give this a once over. This will make sure there is no grease, no grime. So when we come to painting, there'll be nothing getting in the way. With a damp cloth, be wiping it down, rinsing this out, wipe down till it's nice and clean, then simply dry and we'll go on to the next step. These are all now clean and dry. Just with your hands, give it a once over to make sure it's all grease free. If there's any remaining grease, just give it one more clean and then we're ready for the next step. Getting some sandpaper and giving it a light hand sand all over. Now the purpose of this is when we come to painting, it will give a good key for a more long lasting durable finish. Once sanded, just give a wipe down with a damp cloth and then using a dry one, make sure it's nice and dry and we're ready to paint. Make sure the surface you're painting on is nice and protected. On to painting. So with Valsper's Furniture Paint, it is perfect for upcycling because it's a multi-surface product. Perfect for glass, metal, plastic, and wood. You can get this made up in a range of 2.2 million colors. So you really are spoiled for choice. It has a primer built in, so no more prep. We can now get on to painting, but make sure you give this a good shake and a good stir and we're ready to go. For this project, I'm going to be using paint brushes, Got a little one, I'm gonna attempt a face on this one, I think. You can use rollers as well for these projects, but paintbrush is perfect for this one. I wanna get a nice close-up shot of me dipping the brush. I don't have help right now, so I'm gonna film myself painting the first stroke. Coverage is so good. So tips when painting, load the brush, work quickly, Keep going in the same direction, whether that's up and down, but you see what I mean? So not going like in a V-shape, for instance, if you paint a wall, we're just going in the same direction. It's nice and even. This will be touch dry in about an hour's time. I made you two coats, I don't know. This might be okay with one, we will see. Usually I'll sand in between coats, then allow two to four hours in between the paint coats. First coat done with the furniture paint. I'm impressed with how it's looking. I'm gonna let that dry and see what it looks like. All three items are now painted. I only actually needed to do one coat on all of them. So this one needs to dry. I'll use a pencil to do the face design I want. Then using Downing Street and a smaller paintbrush, I will paint that one. This one is all done. This one I've just finished. You can see it's all shiny because it needs to dry. So I mixed white hot and down the street together. I attempted a gradient. I quite like how messy and haphazard this is. I've created quite a mess, which is quite the fun of it. I will remind you of the before and then I will leave you of the afters of all the items styled up. Mm -hmm. 